Hey, Dilo, it wasn't easy, but you guys managed to get the job yeah. done in overtime. What, from your eyes, made the difference down the stretch? I just think as a group, we just did it, you know, collectively. Um, it was just a balanced game from our group. Everybody pitched in defensively, offensively. Communication was huge tonight, so our bench was even, even huge for us, too. D'Angelo, uh, in the second half and overtime, defense seemed to go to another level. What, what worked well for you? What did you guys harness as a group to be able to hold down a really talented offense? I was just taking what they were giving us. Um, you know, they, their defense is it's a lot of scheming to it, and you know, they make you think and make you use your second and third option. Tonight, we were trusting it um, offensively, getting quality shots, and it led to us having the energy and, and, and the will to play defense on the other end. And, you shoot good shots, or it's easy to get back in transition. That team's really dangerous in transition. So, when you guys get down like you were, double digits, do you put anything extra on yourself to try and give a lift and shoot you guys back into the game, or is there any mentality that way? Um, I mean, it's different every night uh, for us as a group. I mean, when we turn the ball over and we got a 10, 12 point lead, it, it lets the team back in it. Um, Knowing the stats, that team leads the NBA in turnovers. So knowing that they would, you know, give us a few opportunities to get back in it as well, and that's what happened tonight. How did you just see Nas battle out there the way that he did? Huge, huge, huge. Not even scoring. He was just committed to, to whatever it took to win. Um, all the winning plays. He was scraping up defensive uh, rebounds, and he was boxing out. He was attacking, you know, Draymond guys like that. He was he was making it hard for him. Uh, down the stretch, you were doing a lot of communicating, a lot of direct, directing traffic on the offensive end. For you as a leader, how important is that vocality and like you know having people hear your voice down the stretch of big games like this? Uh, I mean, I guess it's huge because um, I mean not everybody has the confidence at the end of the game to to make a play um, and to want to make the play too. You know, a lot of guys want to kind of be in the shadows with it. And I'm a guy that's kind of always wanting the ball, wanting the opportunity, wanting it, no matter how big the stage is. So for me to talk in those situations and give guys confidence and just words of encouragement to where the moment isn't that big, you know, and um, I try to do that with my play. But um, when you see a young guy or you see a few young guys in this, in this, um, in that moment, that opportunity, you know, you can't be a fan of it. You got to attack it. And that's the only really way to, to be successful in it. And is that something that you've sort of like worked on and crafted over time, or, or is that something that's always come more naturally to you? I mean, I just took what I was, what, what, what I've, what I've seen. I mean, I've been around a lot of the greats around in the game, and um, I've, I've added a lot of that to my toolbox. Um, I got to play with Kobe, and I have seen how he attacked the, the game mentally every day, not, not really physically, but mentally. When his body really couldn't go no more, he still had that killer mentality, and that. A lot of the time, that, that confidence gets you over the hump. Thank you. <coughs> the next to last rotation, when you went out, you sat over on a chair by yourself, and you seemed really peeved. And then you came back in, and you were on fire. Was that a when you when you get riled in the course of a game? Do you want to come down before you get back in, or do you want to come back with that fire? Uh, I mean, it wasn't really like a like a mad thing or anything like that. It was more or less just just staying in the moment, you know, um, and kind of, I mean, I feel like I was missing some some open looks and shots like that, that um, and I was turning the ball over, just kind of trying to be too passive and then just recognizing what I was doing out there. You know, when you're by yourself, you get time to kind of reflect in the middle of the game, which is pretty hard too. So just trying to reflect on what I could do and how I can help the team, uh, even if my shot's not falling, just trying to find ways to, to lock in on defense and, and things like that. So 